Hi, I'm Jolly, host of The Jolly Abraham Show, and today I'm going to be talking with you about the story behind The Jolly Abraham Show. We're going to go over three things. Number one, why I decided to start the show. Number two, what it takes to run it. And number three, how you can help. Number one, why did I start The Jolly Abraham Show? Well, back in 2018, the Lord had impressed on me a prophetic message for women. He said to me, Jolly, I am rising up the woman and moving her into places of leadership and influence. I am moving her to the table uh, where she is going to be a part of big decisions. I am rising her up to the stage and handing her the mic. They are standing up and speaking out and they are going to lead and they are going to move powerfully for my namesake and my glory. And to that, I said to the Lord, yes, it's about time. But little did I know that God was going to use me to help usher in that word for women. Fast forward to February 2020. God asked me to walk away from my business, to sell it back to my partner, and to walk away from my 13-year career as a physician assistant. Two weeks later, the pandemic hit. I walked into my house along with the rest of the world. I was in pain, angry, and frustrated with the Lord. I remember wrestling month after month after month until he broke me. God began to break me of all the rocks that I had in my life, all the obstacles that I had that was underneath, uh, below the surface that nobody could see, that was preventing me from becoming all that God created me to be. The first rock was success. You see, success to me was money prestige, and my achievements for God. I thought about success every single day. It had my mind and it had my heart. I served it daily. The next rock was control. I tried to control everybody and everything from my kids to my husband, to my calendar and activities. I wanted my will done my way. And the last rock, the biggest stumbling block of my life that held me for 39 years was the rock of being female. You see, most of my life, I was put in this box. Shh, be quiet, sit still, be nice. They said I couldn't do it. I shouldn't do it or wait till you're married to do it. And it came these, these sayings from women who I greatly admired. And the worst part is that I believed them. I too believed that I couldn't do it, that I couldn't be great. I hid behind this rock for so long. I made the excuse that I couldn't speak out or share my opinion because I was a female, that I was unworthy, not important because I was female, and I dared not lead because I was female. Many days I cried out to God and asked, why did you make me like this? Someone with a loud voice, a speaker, someone who's driven and a person of action, why I cried out? Did you give me my personality? my giftings and make me bold like a lion only to make me female and put me in a box. Why didn't you make me a man? That way I wouldn't have to suffer so much and it wouldn't be so hard. I could do whatever, be whatever I wanted. I could be fearless and no one would stop me. And then God whispered to me in true God fashion and said, I purposed you created you and gifted you, not in spite of, but because you are female for such a time as this. You see, friends, 
I had listened to the lies of the enemy for so long, but no more. No more was the enemy going to keep me bound. No more was I going to listen to the audio tape that I had in my head. As far as I was concerned, it was finished. Number two, what does it take to do the show? Well, with all the rocks gone from my life, God began to lead and call me to go online and empower and encourage today's woman. And that's how I started the Jolly Abraham Show, what you see today. Shortly after I started, God began to impress on me not to just do any type of video or cover any topic such as hair, fitness, fashion, makeup, but he wanted me to cover topics that go beneath the surface, that hit on the rocks in women's life. Because he told me, in order for my woman to be powerful and be effective in this world, she has to deal with the core issues, the deeper issues in her life, such as childhood trauma, domestic violence, sex abuse, jealousy, you know, the tough stuff. Fast forward to today, I've been doing the show now for six months and God is doing tremendous things. Week by week, as I post new videos, he is touching the lives of so many people. Shiny wrote, the video on self-care was amazing. For a long time, I thought self-care was selfish, but I realized we can't be good to anyone else unless we are whole. All that you mentioned about exercise, meditation, and journaling are so important. Important. Thank you so much for sharing. Lidgy wrote, Jolly, thank you for bringing the topic of mental health to the forefront and shedding much needed light on it. This channel is so inspiring. We need more women like you, especially as a beacon of light for all women of different ethnic and faith backgrounds. Gina wrote, I got a letter in the mail stating that I owe $7,000. I was lost, confused, and frustrated. After watching your video on how to handle the enemy and win in your life, I put the letter down and prayed the same prayer of declaration you prayed. And then I called the company and they apologized profusely and said that my debt was $0 and that they had sent the letter by mistake. I both laughed and cried because I knew that I used the right tool from your video to dodge this bullet. God bless you. Friends, these are just a few of the people whose lives have been changed from the Jolly Abraham Show. And I'm telling you, this train is moving fast. So fast that as a wife and a mother of three young children, I just can't keep up with the demand. From planning, developing, and researching each topic to finding, recruiting, and communicating logistics and interviewing each guest. From script writing to the actual taping of the show, from editing to uploading every video, it takes about 25 hours of work to produce one episode. Number three, how you can help. I want to take the Jolly Abraham show to the next level. Why? Because you deserve it. You deserve to hear amazing and inspiring messages, world-class messages from world-class people all across this country and the world. People who are ready to share their struggle, their pain, and their journeys of hope and healing through Christ all to give you hope and the confidence you need to know that God is not done with you, that God has such a great purpose and plan for your life too. I want to be able to spread this message of hope to all women, especially moms, especially stay-at-home moms who are maybe washing the dishes and taking care of their kids, to the businesswoman who is running her business like a boss and wearing all hats, and to the working professional woman who has worked her butt off and earned her degree 
and is working passionately day in and day out for the glory of God. I want to reach 1 million women for Jesus. That's right, ladies. My philosophy is you either go big or you go home. Rich, poor, young or old, Hispanic, black, Indian, Asian or white. It does not matter if they are women. I want to reach them. And what's my vision? I want to hire the best team that's out there, including an awesome video and camera crew. And I also want to be able to rent out a professional studio. Not only that, I want to reach more women through all social media outlets in creative, entertaining, and unique ways. Next, I want to partner up with women-owned organizations and nonprofits that are there to help and grow the woman. Next, I want to give grants for women to start new businesses and for scholarships to further the education of the woman. Lastly, I want to set up a training and developing program for the next generation of women leaders. So first, I ask you, almighty oh and generous woman, to partner up with the Jolly Abraham Show, because if you don't, who will? And if you are a man watching this video and you believe in the women in your life, whether it's your beautiful wife, your sister, or your precious daughter, and you believe that she has greatness locked on the inside of her that's just dying to be uh, unleashed, then partner with me today so that she can become the highest version of herself. I am asking for 100 people to give $100 per month on a consistent, faithful basis. If you feel led and are excited about what God is doing in and through the Jolly Abraham Show, then I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, pray. I need you to pray for me that God will give me Continue to give me clean hands, a pure heart, and an innocent mind before him. Next, pray for the Jolly Abraham Show, that this show will reach so many untouched women for God's glory, so that he can ignite them and help them roar. Next, I want you to click on the link down below in the show notes and follow the instructions on how to give. Or you can go to my website, www.jollyabraham.com and scroll all the way down and click the donate button. Lastly, I'm going to ask you to spread the word. Get on your social media, your favorite social media platform, whether that is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, or Twitter, and spread the word of what God is doing through this show and what he's doing with women everywhere. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for your amazing generosity. I pray God's richest blessings over you, your family, and your future legacy.